So, so you have forgotten to what was about my next question was the evolution from Rubicon to yeah. to to Ob darkest white. Uh, yeah, obviously so the, the the vocal part uh, oh. has mm -hmm. been has been developed quite a lot. I think mm -hmm. uh, one more thing is that um, while we were discussing, uh, like uh, our producer Chris Sederberg, he's 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 a good friend of mine and uh -huh. I've known him for many many years. And, mm -hmm. and when we recorded. Uh, Rubicon. I was discussing the music a lot with him, uh -huh. and he, he wasn't involved in that album. But he, as a producer, I wanted to know his meanings about like, different stuff. Uh -huh. and, and he said that <clears throat> if he had something to do with our next album, and, and by then he didn't know, he would want to develop every aspect of Tristania. You know, make the harder parts even harder, <laughs> the doomy parts even more doomy, the poetic uh -huh. parts even more poetic, because yes. he thought, and that's, uh, I'm not saying that I agree 100%, but in his opinion, Rubicon was like in, like a little bit in the middle of the road, okay. and we didn't take too many chances, uh -huh. it was quite kind of safe. Uh -huh. For us it was, uh, it was a big challenge doing uh, Rubicon as well, because we, we were working with um, you could say more like pop structures, mm -hmm. songs, not okay. so progressive, not so long songs. It uh -huh. was more like uh, verse, chorus, verse, yeah, chorus, well, yes, yeah. yes, yes, which, which was uh, a great challenge. Mm -hmm. But uh, Christy wanted, wanted to strengthen all the strengths in the band and, and, so, and uh, make it develop, harder. Yeah, develop all the different aspects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when, they, when the songs came mm -hmm. and um, we did have quite a lot of you know hard parts he felt it was his kind of um, his job to to make those hard parts like proper mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. so so you could say that i think it's a broader album it's more varied yes. within songs and from song to song okay, yeah. okay. so um, what do you think that it that this album has from the past from this time yeah that's also what? something we discussed and uh, <coughs> Although, you know, I'm, I'm the newest member yeah, of the band, yeah, sure. uh, but I'm, I've been there in almost five years now, so mm -hmm. it's not like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I knew about Tristania for many yeah. years, and, uh, and, um, and many years ago I shared an apartment with B mm -hmm. Bebeke, the previous singer, uh, ah, yeah. when, when we were studying. Okay. So I've kind of known the band like halfway inside the band, even many years before I started. Uh -huh. And also with Mariangela and, uh, and Guri. You know, we do really respect the band's history, uh -huh. but it would be false if we tried to sound like the band sounded with different people well, 20 years ago, oh, 12 years ago, or 15 years ago. Yeah. But saying that, um, there is like an interest on it, even no matter who's the members, I think there is an identity in uh -huh. the band. Okay. And we do have two members who's been, who's been with the band forever. Uh -huh. and. Um, and uh, although we haven't kind of actively brought in mm -hmm. old elements, mm -hmm. I think many people have actually said that uh, um, Darkest White for them reminds them sometimes of the old Tristania. Yeah, yeah that, and that, I, that happened to me. Yeah, yes. and, and it's hard to say exactly why, but I think it's because that we know which band mm -hmm. we're in. Mm -hmm. and. When uh, when I was replacing Austin, <laughs> Austin he has a very very low, voice, yes, yes, yes. which was I had to work with that because I was uh -huh. going to sing old songs, but also <laughs> that's a part of Tristania's identity. Yes. So that's why we like on Himmelfall, for example, on the new yes. album, I sing in a, like a Tristania way. If you know what? <laughs> if, you, if you understand what yes, I'm saying? Yeah, so, yes, of course. So it's kind of. It's kind of to respect and accept the band's history, and then, of course, to color it with our own personalities. So mm -hmm. it's it's kind of a, I would say that the darkest white it is a mix between old and new Tristania in mm -hmm. some ways, uh -huh. because we do respect the history, but we color it with our with with current something bands. new. Into it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So uh, about the artwork, mm. is, it, is it also something very uh, different from the past? Yeah. Uh, how did you came the band? I mean, I with the idea. A, yeah, that's a that's a good story actually because again we were <coughs> we were going to do this 100% our way uh -huh. and um, uh, for <coughs> a, in a commercial way maybe our cover is a bit too dark or something. Yes. Like, uh, there's not too much colors on it. Yes. But when you see the cover, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I yeah. think. What we did was to contact uh, a couple of different uh, mm -hmm. uh, cover artists. Who was the artist? And we got a response from Eliran Kantor, uh -huh. uh, 
um, in Berlin. Mm -hmm. This is Israeli, uh, an Israeli artist. Mm -hmm. He's done many like creator and many like metal okay. covers. Mm -hmm. Somehow, you know, we just wrote a short mail that this is our ideas for the album, mm -hmm. and he wrote us back immediately and said, "Can you send me the lyrics?" Mm -hmm. Because on this album, we <coughs> we actually made the cover before we recorded. Okay. So what he did was to use four days mm -hmm. reading through all the lyrics. 10, 20, 30 times, uh -huh. and uh -huh. he kind of tried to uh -huh. grasp the the idea yes. behind, like, uh -huh. you know, the lyrical concept or whatever uh -huh. you call it. And he came up with a sketch, uh -huh. which was 100% what we wanted. <laughs> so you could say that the, that cover art of Darkest White is obviously Elirin Kanto. He mm. knew about the band and he knew, you know, our yes. sound and everything. He knew that we weren't like R&B or mm -hmm. something like that or <laughs> blues band, but. Um, but when he came back, he said that uh, for me, this is what the album is about. He said, mm -hmm. and he did this uh, this mm -hmm. cover, uh, uh -huh. the first sketch, and we said, oh, <laughs> this is ex exactly what we want. Well, yeah. Yeah, so that was a really good. So you could say the cover is okay. like um, so the sum of all the lyrics. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you take all the lyrics and put it together, <laughs> it's gonna look like that. Yeah. Which is, I think, a what really nice like art. You want to transmit to the to the audience, to the fans, yeah. yeah. With the, and we've also had so so many good, uh, so much good response on, mm -hmm. on the cover art as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, apart from um, the change of Viveke to, uh, to Mariangela, yeah, yeah. Um, the band has now is less symphonic than it was in the past. Yeah. Why? It's all about musical evol uh, like evolving. Mm -hmm. uh, I think um, <coughs> some people around, uh, you could see it on like Twitter and Facebook, they want us to <coughs> release our first two albums again and again and again and again. <laughs> and uh, and um, the thing that's driving us in a band like this, and, and you, you probably have the same answer of 99 out of 100 bands, is mm. to, to discover something new, to make something new, you know? You don't want to repeat yourself. Yes. So, uh, and... Um, as Tristania used to be a very very symphonic band with choirs and yes, big yes. things, you know. Okay. When we were, or they <coughs> were, 16, 15, 17, 18 years old, mm -hmm. now we're like 30 plus, <laughs> like 35, and of course you have different, you have listened to other music in your, <laughs> as you've grown up and stuff, and, and for us this is a normal kind of direction for us. Uh -huh. We do have, a, we do have a little bit of like symphonic yes. elements, but, but Yes, but, but it's so much more important for us now today that the songs are strong, mm -hmm. you know, yes. and we have different ways of, of kind of uh, um, communicating what we want through the songs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it would be very easy to just put on an orchestra and some big choirs yeah. and you cannot really hear what's going on. Uh, also life is this most, much more difficult, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's the thing, you know. You, you could use all those elements to kind of uh, to drown the song in, uh -huh. in many big sounds, but mm -hmm. but as you will all also hear on the um, on the mix, mm -hmm. you could basically hear everything that's going on in the mix of, of uh, Darkest White because uh -huh. we wanted to be like that. We wanted to hear if you if you if you want to check out the bass line, we want the mix to be like you can hear it. So it's it's. It's quite a plain mix, but it's also a very pop, pop-ish mix because, uh -huh. like in pop music, you can yes. basically hear all the instruments yes, <laughs> placed around you, you know. And, and uh, that's one of the things we, one of the reasons why we wanted to use Christer as a, as a producer Absolutely. and mixer is because we feel that, uh, you know, I, I've been knowing about his qualities for many years, but mm -hmm. now the last few years he's also done Anathema. Mm -hmm. He's still working with Nakama and, and a few more like amazing productions and we wanted him to give him a challenge to do something much harder. <laughs> Obviously he's from a metal background as well, yes. from a band called In the Woods in, in the Woods I know in, in, in Christian where mm -hmm. I'm from. Yes. Yes. So he knows he knows the game. But mm -hmm. he's the last few years he's done most pop and then he did Anathema which is kind of mm -hmm. progressive pop uh, rock uh, thing, you know, you know. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And um, yeah. So mm -hmm. so it's because of uh, the need to evolve as a band because because uh, for us it basically wouldn't be you can stuck in the past it, yeah it wouldn't be interested mm. in, interesting for us to do mm -hmm. uh, okay I can accept that ACDC they do <laughs> they do it and they've been doing it for yeah. almost 50 years yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> and, and they they can do that yeah uh, that's uh, that's something they want to do but uh, there's not too many bands who wants to stay in the same place forever.